my name's Tony Preston, and in this short video, we're going to take a brief look at the key features of Agilent's FieldFox RF analyzers. Whether you're installing or maintaining radio systems in the heat of the Australian outback, or working on a drill rig in the freezing conditions of the Arctic, the FieldFox will keep working and continue to make accurate measurements. All of the FieldFox's specifications are guaranteed from minus 10 degrees centigrade to plus 55 degrees centigrade. And unlike other handhelds, the FieldFox has no vent holes or fans, minimizing the ingress of dust or moisture. It meets all the relevant mill standard environmental specifications. And as you can see, it's extremely rugged. Its bright, transflective and backlit TFT display means it can be used in any lighting conditions, direct sunlight and in the dark. The FieldFox is available in two models, 6 GHz and a lower cost 4 GHz version. It's got two USB sockets for external storage and connecting a GPS, an Ethernet port for remote control over a local area network, a built-in mini SD card slot so you can still perform long-term storage even with the weatherproof flaps closed, a built-in headphone jack and loudspeaker, and an easily replaceable lithium-ion battery that lasts around four hours under normal operation. Fully configured, the FieldFox is the most integrated handheld RF analyzer available. It has more features and capabilities than any other handheld RF analyzer on the market. In its most basic configuration, it's an extremely comprehensive cable and antenna tester covering 2 MHz to 6 GHz. So we can test everything from HF radio, broadcast transmitters, land mobile two-way radio, airband, marine band, and all mobile phone bands, 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz Wi-Fi, and all frequencies in between. It measures return loss, VSWR, cable loss, and distance default, and we can even make many of these measurements simultaneously. Best of all, the built-in quick cal capability means that we can calibrate the instrument when out on site without the need for an external open short load calibration kit. Let's take a quick look at some of the many other capabilities available and you'll soon see why the FieldFox has gained the reputation for being the Swiss army knife of the RF world. And by the way, all of these options can be ordered up front with a new unit or you can add them later. Just order the option you want and enter the activation code. No hardware modifications are required. This means you can buy a FieldFox now with just the right capability to suit your current requirements but safe in the knowledge that you can have any of these options at any time in the future. The optional spectrum analyzer is quite outstanding. It can measure signals as low as minus 148 dBm with a phase noise of only minus 88 dBc and a third order intercept better than plus 18 dBm. And the same power sweep one button measurements that you'd find on Agilent's benchtop analyzers are built in, such as occupied bandwidth, adjacent channel power and channel power. And all these are available for predefined standards such as LTE, WiMAX, GSM, CDMA, WCDMA, CDMA 2000, etc. And while using the FieldFox as a spectrum analyzer, you can use the internal RF source as a standalone fixed frequency signal generator. It can be set to any frequency and you can use it to check interference, use it as a test signal or even as a portable RF beacon. There's an optional interference analyzer that identifies unknown or intermittent signals with built-in spectrogram logging and waterfall displays. These spectrum records are automatically logged to the internal memory or USB memory stick with time and date stamp and GPS position without the need for an external PC. Ideal for spectrum surveys and troubleshooting interfering signals while mobile. We can even enter values for antenna factors and cable loss into the field fox, giving us true field strength measurements in microvolts per meter or dB microvolts per meter. If you need to make broadband power meter measurements with the ultimate accuracy or make measurements at frequencies higher than 6 GHz, you can plug in any of Agilent's 2000 series of USB power sensors to make extremely accurate RF level measurements, ideal for microwave fading applications or aligning a satellite receiving dish. And with the new channel power meter option, we can even make channelized RMS power measurements with the same traditional power meter user interface we're all familiar with, but without the need for an external power sensor. 
If you need to make more advanced device measurements than just the standard cable and antenna test that's built into every field box, you can order the Network Analyzer option. Not only does this give you extremely accurate return loss measurements of both magnitude and phase, but we can also measure the transmission loss or gain of filters, amplifiers and cables, in fact any 2-port 50 ohm device. Plus, you get a Smith chart of the return loss or S11 of your device. It can even display the measured results as complex impedance, just like your Benchtop Vector Network Analyzer. And with the new Time Domain option, you can even make Time Domain measurements of these same devices, just like on a Benchtop VNA. The Vector Voltmeter option lets us compare the electrical length of devices. For example, we can accurately phase trim cables for radar and direction finding systems, producing matched pairs with the same electrical length and phase delay, just like we did with the old HP 8508A vector voltmeter. And as with most Agilent instruments, you can save all your favorite instrument settings, as well as JPEGs and CSV files of measurement results, directly to the internal memory, a USB memory stick, or the mini SD card. Essential these days, when we all have to keep a record of every measurement and document everything we do. For further information on the Antelope Fieldfox, please visit the website shown below or contact your local representative.